Wood has six legs and flies. Insects, insects are cool. Bees are insects. When you're around bees, you gotta be careful. Get it? Be careful. <laughs> Leo the science girl, science girl. Leo the science girl, inertia is a property of matter. Leo, 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 Leo. T minus ten seconds. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo the science girl. Hi guys, I'm Leonora, and I go on adventures. This week we're exploring insects. Look around you. It's not hard to find bugs. They're everywhere. Entomologists study bugs. Say it with me. Entomologists. Entomologists. An entomologist is a scientist who studies insects and their lives. Some entomologists may look at how insects behave. Some study where insects live. Some look at insect pests and the diseases they carry, and others try to describe new insect species that are discovered. What is an insect? Now, now you know that not all bugs are created equal. Oh, hey, W. That's right. Insects have a hard exoskeleton. That's a skeleton on the outside. All insects have a head, an abdomen, and a thorax. What did you say? If you look closely at the head, insects have eyes, a mouth, and antenna. Insects use their antenna to smell, hear, and feel vibration. They even use them to find each other. Insects also have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many different kinds of insects are there? Around the world, there are between 6 and 10 million kinds of insects. Bugs are 90% of all the animals on Earth. They live everywhere. In the ocean, in deserts, and even in top of mountains. There are about 1.4 billion insects for every person on Earth. Here are some insects. Lice. Fleas. Ants, beetles, flies, mantises, mayflies, e rigs, stick and leaf insects, termite, and cockroaches, dragonflies, grasshoppers, katydids, cricket, wasps, bees, moths, and butterflies. Like that? Hey. Okay, kids, time to get up and eat. Hi, my name is Shelby Counterman. I am nine years old and I collect cockroaches. When I started collecting roaches, I only had five, and now I have thousands. Some people really, really like insects. I like roaches because when they crawl my arms, they tickle me, and when I hold them, they make me real happy. And some people do not. Is a ladybug a bug or an insect? All insects are bugs. Not all bugs are insects. There's 5,000 types of ladybugs. Ladybugs live all over Earth. And NASA even sent ladybugs to outer space. But are ladybugs bugs or insects? Let's take a look. Six legs. Check. Head, body, thorax. Check. Wings. Check. Ladybugs are insects. Hooray! What is a 
it's an insect. Spiders. Pear bugs. Praye mantis. Scorpion. Mosquito. Centipede. What are the oldest insects? Insects were on Earth before dinosaurs. They evolved 480 million years ago. Dinosaurs weren't born until 252 million years ago. Insects during dinosaur time were gigantic. Then birds came along. Then insects got smaller and smaller. We know because scientists have found insect fossils. They didn't know where to look. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. And just like today, they fed on the blood of animals, even dinosaurs. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sap. After a long time, the tree sap would get hard and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur bone, preserving the mosquito inside. Humans came 200,000 years ago. But the oldest insects, what were the oldest insects? Mayflies, grasshoppers, cockroaches. By just getting bigger and bigger, insects grow in stages. A complete transformation has four stages. Let's start with stage one, the eggs. Pat, tell us about them. These are butterfly eggs, Bill. Some of a limited number produced each year by the beautiful and elegant monarch butterfly. Those are tiny, cute little eggs. Now we'll go to stage two, the larva. Pat! In butterflies and moths, it's called a caterpillar. In flies, it's a maggot. It's the larva, the creepy, crawly, worm-like second stage of an insect's life. Now, stage three, the pupa. Pat, tell us about these dormant brown guys. The insect is in a protective covering while it transforms. The pupa is as functional as it is beautiful. Finally, we go to stage four. The pupa emerges and transforms itself into an adult. The form of the insect we've all come to know and love. It comes complete with three sections, six legs, and one or two pairs of wings. That's all the time we have. See you next week on 
Insect Stages. So long, everybody. Metamorphosis. Egg. Larva. Pupa. Adult. Let's head to Wisconsin to see some caterpillars hatching. Adult, that's it. What is the coolest insect? Let's travel to New Zealand to check out the coolest insect. You see that? You might think they're stars, but they're not. This galaxy of little light is created by thousands of living creatures. I explore lots of caves. One thing I know is that caves are dark. This is the White Tomo Glowworm Cave. These worms go fishing for their food. Fishing. Well, kind of. They spit out long strings that are sticky like spider webs. And then they wait for an insect to fly by and get stuck. The insects are drawn to the light in their tail. And then, bam, they become dinner. Glowworms are, they're actually larvae, like a caterpillar. Eventually, they will become nests. Glowworms are cool. Wanna see the coolest insect in Mexico? Yes. Monarch butterflies are large, beautifully colored butterflies that are easy to recognize by their striking orange, black, and white markings. Every year, billions of monarch butterflies travel thousands of miles across North America to Mexico. You see those little dots? Those are clouds of monarch butterflies. A single monarch migration Take three to four generations of butterfly. A built-in biological compass tells each offspring its location on the journey from Mexico to Canada. Can you eat insects? Yes, you can! The Aztecs had a long tradition of eating insects, and people still eat them today. We went to investigate at La Merced. Look what we found. Gusanos. Humiles. Chicatanas. Escamoles. Aguatul. Cuchara. Chapulines. Escarabajo. I didn't need any ink sacks, but maybe one day. That's all I had time to explore this week. See you next time. This is Leonora getting ready for another adventure. Bye!